I did my best to lead the Farthingwood animals on their journey to White Deer Park when Fox was swept down the river. Had we known it, Fox was even then working his way back to us with his new friend, Vixen. What's happened? The Sanks divided. Perhaps they split into two groups. They wouldn't do that. But a terrible danger threatened. The hunt. Oh, no! Bravely, Fox headed the hounds away from Vixen, but she was near her end, when suddenly, Ada saved the day. If only your tears weren't salty, none of us would ever be thirsty again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, told you we'd all make it to White Deer Park, didn't I, mateys? Not quite all, Toad. I saw what happened to the mice. I'm sorry. But where's Ada? I'd like to thank her for saving me. Ada's hiding! Why? She's ashamed! Ruined her nasty reputation! Ada! Come out, come out, wherever you are! If you hadn't struck out at the horse, it would have trampled on you, Ada. As long as you realize, I was only saving my own skin. Lucky for me. Next time, you may not be so lucky. <laughs> you clever vixen. I found your water, as you asked, in a quarry. It's not far. Quarry? Did you say quarry, matey? With a wire fence round it. I knew it! Ha <laughs> ha! There's ducks, warbirds, and I don't know what else. It's a treat of a place. Oh, we'll be quite safe there, mateys. He's off again. <laughs> are falling. Soon be autumn. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if I did right, leaving the voles and the mice behind. But you see, we simply couldn't wait till those babies grew big enough to travel with us. No time. Quite right, Badger. Nothing else you could do. <sighs> Nearly there, mateys. Toad, jump up. I can ride on you, Fox. <laughs> like the old days. And me. I'll take my turn carrying the smaller animals. You, Vixen? I thought, well, uh, Toad here will need to go into hibernation before long. And he's our only guide. We rely on him. Can't have him falling asleep on us. Mm, got to get to White Deer Park first. Did I do right, Fox? Fox? Oh, sorry, Badger. I wasn't listening. <laughs> He's in love! Our leader's in love! <laughs> I'll thank you to speak of Fox with more respect, Weasel. We're nearly at the quarry, mateys. I can feel it! <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? My instinct's pulling me to White Deer Park now, instead of home to Farthing Wood. I'm over the ump, I am. <laughs> I'll not have any trouble getting us to White Deer Park now. Hooray! Hooray for Tony! Toad's getting above himself. Hmm. And if love is blind, as they say it is, it's a fine state for our leader to get himself into. You helped save him. You helped save his mate. I was saving myself. 
says who? Oh, dear. It's all right, Badger. We can all hop through. Oh, see what you mean. Uh, I'd forgotten how big you all were. That toe is so astute. Would it help if I tunneled underneath? Molly, what would we do without you? Die of thirst, I should think. Turn round, Molly! You're digging in the wrong direction! Oh, sorry. I say steady on, Molly! Don't panic. My husband is being buried. Don't you dare say a word. Yes, Rabbit. I think we have had enough of your panicking, don't you? Yes, Fox. Sorry, Fox. Shh. Then we'll say no more about it. Keep going, Mole. You're doing fine. Hi, Molly! <laughs> Here. What's that? display of flying technique, don't you think, Al? Needs oiling, if you ask me. I'm out. I'm out. Wait a minute. I've got to widen the tunnel for Fox and Vixen. Wait your turn. <laughs> now try it. You go first. Here. Well done, Mole. Thanks, Mole, old son. That's all right. Come on, mateys! <laughs> Water's cool and sweet. Help! Help! You're not going to leave me here, are you? Perhaps this will teach you not to complain. Yes. And if you hadn't complained, nobody would have noticed us. And Fox wouldn't have remembered what happened at the river. Is poor Daddy being punished, Mummy? All right. Leave me here, then. I know when I'm not wanted. Very well. Come, baby. Come back. I didn't mean it. Some creatures just never learn, do they? And this is the life, eh, mateys? It's so peaceful, like a different world. No humans. Not all of them hunt. Some run nature reserves, like this White Deer Park of yours. True. And some of them go home from hunting us to pet their dogs and their horses. Still, we're safe here, with friends. Look at Owl and Kestrel. At first, I thought Owl was the leader. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the hares with Squirrel. This place is just perfect. I feel so safe. Couldn't we stay? No trees! Hares don't need trees. Excuse me, but Toad says White Deer Park's not far now. That's true. And look what happened to the field mice when they thought they'd found a home. Yeah, we must stick together. And look at Mole. Oh, he's so greedy. <laughs> Toad's almost as bad. Good evening. May I introduce myself? Oh. How do you do? Oh, all the better for seeing you. 
I hope we aren't intruding. Oh, no. Guests are always welcome. Thank you, Heron. Call me Whistler. Everyone does. I hope you won't mind me asking, but... A whistle? Hmm. Someone mistook me for a pheasant. Took a pot shot. Winged me. Air goes straight through it when I'm flying. Makes a whistling noise. <laughs> Everyone always knows when I'm coming. Wouldn't do for me. I hunt by stealth. Do you now? Yes, I do. Well, fish don't hear me. In the water, you see. Tell you what, I'll catch you some for breakfast. Watch this. What an exhibition. Surely you're not impressed, are you, Fox? Oh. A wise leader is never influenced by mere show-offs. I wouldn't be. But then, of course, my wisdom is legendary. What do you think, Ada? Ada? <laughs> Your wife seems to like swimming. Yeah, she's frightened of the heron, you see. Always rolls up when she's frightened. We both do. Yeah. It's all right, dear. Yeah. He's a friend. There you are! Somebody ought to tell that heron about the oath. <laughs> Scaredy snake! Scaredy snake! I'm coming, matey! I could swim perfectly well on my own, thank you. Only trying to help, matey. That heron frightened me half to death. And we're all dried out again in no time, matey. Or then again, maybe you won't, eh? <laughs> oh, dear. It's starting to rain. Doesn't seem to bother Whistler. Or Toad. Ahoy, mateys! I can do what Whistler can. Watch me. What I need's a nice, comfy seat to watch this. Ah! Ahoy there, Whistler. Let's see if I can catch a fish too. I want to learn how to fish like you. Toads don't catch fish. Well, I do. I'll show you. I'll do it if it kills me. Now we have two exhibitionists. Toad needs little or no encouragement at the best of times. He needs teaching a lesson. Too true, Ada. Pride comes before a fall, or so they say. Whistler, you're spoiling us. You'll have us as fat as Toad and Mole. He hasn't come up yet. Uh, who's that, Mole? Toad, he hasn't come up. Perhaps he's so full of worms, he's sunk. <laughs> Look what I got! Look, there he is. He's caught a fish. Told you I could, eh? <laughs> oh, no. Something's happened to him. Oh, no! I say, that old carp's got him. He's too fat to swallow. Just as well, Adder. Toad's the only one who knows the way to White Deer Park. Serves Fox right for trusting a toad. Sealed his eyes. He mustn't see this. But I want to see. I want to. Whistler, can you do anything to help? Hmm. My pleasure. I've been after that carp for years. <laughs> Oh, 
Toad! Oh no! Is he dead? Make way! Make way! Don't jump on him, Weasel. You'll squash him. Right, Toad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Poor thing. Do you think you could throw it back? I beg your pardon? He's out of his senses. No, I'm not. Just can't bear to see it gasping like that. Stupid Toad. It was trying to swallow you. Please, Whistler. One last favor. Well, if you put it like that. What a sacrifice. You realize he's been trying to catch that fish for years. I'm sorry, matey. What a way to reward you for saving me, eh? <laughs> Make you throw your fish back. Does seem a bit odd. The oaths changed us, Whistler. Before we started out on this journey to Whitefield Park, we'd none of us think for a moment about throwing back a fish like that. But now... Live and let live. That's our motto. Well, makes a change, I must say. You know, I do find you animals rather intriguing. He'll be asking if he can come with us next. <laughs> hmm, not a bad idea, that. But it's nice. Yeah. True, but it gets a bit lonely, you know. Lots of ducks and fish, of course, but are there any herons at White Deer Park? Now you come to mention it, I did see one or two. Uh, female herons? Now there you got me, matey. Can't tell the difference, see? <laughs> <laughs> and he's guiding us? Ridiculous. Well, Whistler? You might be lucky and find a mate. I was. If we ever get there, <laughs> Toad's a bit accident prone. Yes. From now on, Toad, you'd better stick close. No going off on your own, right? You see, Toad, you really are too important to lose. We must take care of you. I'm important? Yes. Oh, 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 I'm important! I'm important! Was that wise, Fox? It was kind, Owl. Of course. Owl is right. We should have asked her advice on how best to take care of Toad. Um, if you say so, dear. Hmm. And now Whistler wants to join us. You have to take the oath. Oath? The Oath of Mutual Protection. And so shall you, my dear. Fox's mate cannot be exempt. I say. I shall be glad to take the oath. <clears throat> All right, then. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, say after me, I, Vixen, or Whistler, whichever you are. You know better than me. Um, I, uh, um, uh, I, Whistler? Vixen. Do solemnly swear not to swallow um, or otherwise consume. Not to swallow or otherwise consume. Um, anybody, anybody while en route, route to Toad's White Deer, Deer Park. Park. I'm exhausted. Can't we stop? We're safer moving. Safer, he says. That whistle's a sure giveaway. Might as well shout it from the treetops. The animals are farthing ward are coming! Ah! Shh! Do you think they're right? If we do meet any humans, they'll be staring up at Whistler so hard, we'll be able to pass right under their noses without being seen. <laughs> Pitched wine. All morning I've had to put up with it. Gets on my nerves. I like it. Just knowing Whistler's about makes me feel safe. Gee! You've walked right into the middle of a pheasant shoot. Gee! Gee! Take care. 
Quick, everyone. Keep together. Hare, keep an eye on those rabbits. Oh, those dogs. It reminds me. Shh. With any luck, they'll be so busy with the birds, they won't pick up our scent at all. Don't panic. Don't panic. Come here, son. Oh, dear. I can't help thinking of our poor pheasant and his wife. Still, he'll be back. Be quiet! You don't want a matching hole in your other wing, do you? That would be unfortunate. But deserved. What did you say? Shh! I don't want to be taken for a pheasant. Don't panic! Oh, no. Good boy! It's my fault. I'm his mother. I'm supposed to protect him. Oh, you're a good mother. You did your best. So did you. To think Owl saved him from the snare for this. He may not have died in vain, Badger. They're going away. We need to be sure of that before we go on. I think we'd better rest for a while. Uh, getting dark. We'll move at first light. Well, Whistler, and how are you enjoying the journey? I was just wondering how you were enjoying the journey. Hmm. Well, I'm beginning to see why you all stick together, Owl. The sooner we reach White Deer Park, the better. Ah, Kestrel, I thought you'd be asleep. I'm anxious about tomorrow. Only he who is without hope is without anxiety. But he who is without anxiety is at peace. Oh, shut, shut up! up.